Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video series, we're going to look at how to analyze multiple choice survey data in Excel. So in this example here, I just have a simple survey with one question, which is which of the following do you drink with breakfast? And then the person taking the survey is able to answer with multiple choices. They can select multiple items from this list down here. And typically, the software that we use to conduct the survey, then we can then export the data to Excel. But that data is usually not in a format or a layout that's easy to work with. It's easy to summarize or to create a pivot table with. So in this, the first two videos in this series, we're going to look at how to transform that data using Power Query to get it into a format that's easier to use as a source data for a pivot table. And then in the third video, we're going to look at how to analyze the data with a pivot table. So in the first video here, I basically have my data exported in this format here, where we have one column for each result in the survey or each item in the survey. So here's all of my items uh, that are in the list of the survey and that the user can choose. And then each row in the data down below contains a, a response from one person. So this person here chose both coffee and water as their responses. And we had 20 total responses for the survey. So in this video here, we're gonna look at how to uh, transform this data with Power Query. In the next video, we'll look at this format, which is more of uh, comma separated values, where we have one column of results with comma separated values. So we'll look at how to transform that with Power Query in the next video. So in this video here, we basically wanna take this format Format, this data that's in this layout and use the unpivot feature in Power Query to get it into a layout that's more user friendly for a pivot table. And that layout looks like this here where we have one column of values here, which would be the results and then multiple rows for each entry. So we can see here that this, we'd have two rows for uh, entry number one. This would be for the results for one person. And then both of their results listed here uh, in the same column and so on. It goes down for the rest of the people that took the survey. So we're basically gonna uh, transform this data using Power Query to get it into this type of layout here that we can use for a pivot table. So to do that, the first thing we need to do is convert this to an Excel table. You can hit Control T on the keyboard or go to the Insert tab on the ribbon and choose Table. You'll just wanna have any cell selected inside the range first. That'll bring up the Create Table prompt. It should automatically select your range for you and then click OK. So now we have an Excel table here. You can go and change the formatting of this if you like. But basically, now we're going to use Power Query to transform this. So I'm going to go to the Data tab on the ribbon. I'm using Excel 2016 for this video. Power Query is now in the Get and Transform section of the Data tab. If you're using Excel 2010 or 2013 for Windows, uh, then you'll install Power Query and it'll be in a separate tab in the ribbon up here. It'll say Power Query. And I have other articles and videos that go over that in more detail. I'll put the links to those below. So we're basically just gonna choose the From Table button here uh, and click the From Table button. That'll bring up the Power Query Editor window. And now we just need to transform this data. So here I have a preview down here of my data. I'm gonna to go to the Transform tab up here on the ribbon and use the Unpivot Columns feature. So first thing I'm gonna do is just select the columns I wanna unpivot. I'm gonna left click Coffee. Then I'm gonna hold down the Shift key on the keyboard and select Beer. And then I'm gonna click the Unpivot Columns button here. And that's basically now made that transformation uh, very quickly for me. So I now have one column of values here. These are all the responses from the surveys. And then the attribute column is basically all of the column headers. We actually don't need this column, so I'm gonna right click and remove it. And then the other thing I wanna do is I, I wanna uh, remove all of these blank cells here. I don't need all these blanks. So I'm just gonna click the filter button here and uncheck blank and click okay. 
and that'll remove all the blanks. So now I have a nice clean table that I can use as a source of a pivot table. So I'm gonna to go to the Home tab on the ribbon here and click the Close and Load button, and that'll basically create a new sheet in the workbook with the output of my query. So again, here's my table uh, that I can now use as a source of a pivot table. So this is great. It's very easy to work with to uh, use as a pivot table, and then we're gonna summarize this and analyze this data. So in the next video, I'm gonna show that exact same process, but with this list of results here, that's uh, basically one column of comma separated values. And then in the third video, we'll look into how to summarize and analyze the data with a pivot table. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.